Hello everyone, welcome to this problem where we are given a 3D diagram, a cuboid and the sides are given 4, 3 and 5 find the length of the diagonal CE now at first glance you might not be able to see it but actually this particular triangle is actually a right angle triangle because E is vertically above A and AC is a horizontal plane you see so I could actually sketch out this triangle EAC out and this is a very important skill the ability to identify right angle triangle out to help us solve for this and with this I will then be able to see that to get to the length CE first I know my AE AE is 5 because this is a cuboid right if CG is 5 this is also 5 but that's the only length wait a minute how about this triangle here is this a right angle triangle yes it is because the base is a rectangle so the next part here would then involve us looking at triangle ABC which I'm going to sketch out also And this is 4 and this is 3 and from here I can then use this to find my AC and if once I know my AC I can find my CE yeah and so the first part is then to find my AC AC square is equals to 4 square plus 3 square by Pythagoras theorem so all I have to do is to square root this this is by Pythagoras theorem I will get 5 so now I know this is 5 and from here I can then find my CE which is 5 square plus 5 square square root by Pythagoras theorem okay and this will be equals to square root 50 which will then give me a value of 7.0711 to 5 significant figures 7.07 .07 cm to 3SF and that will be for part A part B I will then require to find angle ACE which is this angle here so since I already know the length 5 and 5 AE and AC I just need to apply my Tuakaso right so for part B given Tuakaso I have my O and A yep I'm going to use my tangent ratio now tangent of this angle ACE will be equals to opposite over adjacent so therefore my angle ACE is equals to the tangent inverse of this 5 over 5 45 degrees with that we have come to the end of this particular example so if you like this video 
do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's move on to explore more mathematics problems.